Chris Voss says, never split the difference. Right? Well, honestly, I don't know about that in sales. Like, um, I think, you know, for me, if I look at about it, it's uh, negotiations, currency, credits and debits. Um, so he's saying never split the difference. I'm saying split the difference. I'm saying it's, there's a currency going on of negotiation. Um, there's credits and debits. You take, you get, you take, you get, um, you know, just like a bank account. If you, if you take too much out of your bank account, you're bankrupt, right? You're overdraft. You're in overdraft protection mode. Um, and, and what we really want to do here is know what credits and debits you're willing to take and what you're not willing to take. Um, so it's kind of like managing your own budget. It's managing your own account, but the way you create an illusion of control is you've influenced everyone outside of the person you're negotiating with that's control because then when the person goes back into camp and says oh well i'm not so sure because of these three or four reasons um they start wondering how you got control over the situation because everyone is aligned to what you're talking about and so creating that illusion of control is really important and the way we do it and the way you should do it is influence those beyond the table that you're negotiating with. So we can co-market together for things that'll reduce your customer acquisition costs, like helping you get into communities, referring you talent. By the way, side note, I did refer Christina Lee, your new social media manager. So maybe we'll help you on talent acquisition too. That's actually a Perfect. true story. We got transparent pricing. So you work with someone else, you know, who knows what their pricing will be next year, right? I think one of the biggest challenges we see sometimes is implementation, right? If the tool isn't implemented well, then you don't see success. And what we've learned over the years of working with districts is that it has to be a successful implementation, which is why we require professional development for every educator that will be using the tool. And so that's what I wanna make sure that we're in alignment on as we sign the contract, that we get that scheduled as part of, of the deal so that that can happen immediately and we can have a successful implementation. Great, thank you, Morgan. I will buy. So Dan, you went first. Um, you really got me on the, the, the win for you was bundled pricing. Um, to bring me more value at the same cost. That, that was smart as a way to, to pull things off the table when I needed cost savings. You said, well, I'll give you more for the same. Um, and I think that was a good a good technique um, to, to bring in there. Um, you introduced a new product to me that I wasn't uh, aware of. I, I really liked the way that um, Dan approached the personal relationship and diffused any negotiation attempts that I might have had. Um, I like the way that Nolan validated the value. I like the way that Jen um, uh, like pushed back on me. Um, and I like the way that uh, Megan showed me that my peers are doing it and I'm not actually, um, I'm actually, I don't even know my priority. So I, I like all of those things, but um, you know, so it's a tough decision because there was positive and negatives on both. Um, and you're gonna make me say the decision. Um, I'd say overall, I would say that Dan probably had overall the, the smoothest pitch. Um, and it's between Dan and Nolan, um, uh, unfortunately. So Morgan and Jen, um, I probably pressed you guys the hardest. So um, I'm going to give you a tie for second place, um, <laughs> which is steak knives, I guess, or whatever you call it. Um, so Dan, you're, you're, the, you're the champ for the day. Everyone's a winner on the GTM games. Um, we have the glory of knowledge and cross-training and we're creating a new category. Thank you, Julia. Thank you to sponsors.